surprise. We're here to do uh, a giveaway, a big one. So uh, first, I have to get the business out of the way because YouTube says I have to. Um, you under in the description of this video, you will see YouTube policies and guidelines for contests for you to read, and also a link to the community guidelines. Uh, privacy of all participants and their address of the I need to send products will all be shredded when this is over, and we will have no. Uh, communication that isn't wanted with those people. YouTube is not a sponsor of this contest and you as the viewer release YouTube from any liabilities. Okay, and accepting delivery of these products also relieves us from any liability that may be occurring after it leaves our hands, house, property. <laughs> so that being done, that's a good thing over. <laughs> Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me and we're going to have a big giveaway. This fountain will be given away and five House of Hydro misters. So, um, the House of Hydro um, has these misters that I've been getting for a long time and uh, comes in a real nice box and they're a one disc ultrasonic mister and inside the box there is instructions on use. You will find a, a plug-in thing that to, controls the mister and you will find your mister. So um, the House of Hydro I have been dealing with for a long time when I first started uh, orchids and trying to get my humidity right in this crazy climate, especially the dry winters. Uh, when the furnace is on a lot, driving our humidity down to 30s. So, um, I had to think of some. I tried other misters. Yes, they were cheaper and they did not last. I have stuck with the House of Hydro and now I probably have different areas. I think I probably have maybe five or six misting bowls and uh, I'm very happy with them. There's never a mess anywhere. They do not leave water even when they're this close to the mister. They're not putting water on my plants, not down here, not up here, but uh, the vibration of the disc, an ultrasonic vibration, actually sends up this beautiful mist and uh, it goes into the air and it's good for your plants, but it's also good for you because if your uh, in-home air is dry, it's not good for uh, asthma, breathing, your throat dries up, you're more likely to get sick than if you have this humidity around you. So uh, they have a low water shut off, so if you're away and the water goes down, uh, it will shut off, it will not hurt anything. Then you come back and you just get your jug and you fill it up. Um, they are harmless to humans, animals, and fish. They're very low voltage. So they're not drawing a lot of power. They're not costing a lot of money to run. Um, please go to the House of Hydro site and look at all the information available on misters of all kinds, how different people use them, DIY projects. They have so much there that is so interesting that their uh, people that buy their product have sent in. And uh, it's really informative, so please go there. Um, there is no chemicals involved in this. Um, 
Negative ions create a positive effect on the air you breathe and your plants. It is ideal for drier climates and winters where your furnace is running all the time. Never, never, never touch the little disc on the top. It will not work if you do that. Always unplug it before you go in there to clean. Unplug it and always hold it by the outer stainless steel casing. Do not hold it by the handle, by the electrical cord, or touch the disc. Because the oils on your hands will uh, be very detrimental. So, when I clean my disc, it is just a little brown center part. Uh, you also get a key that can tighten it. So in shipping, when these boxes go out, they could be uh, shook loose. The disc, maybe I should show you one. Okay, it comes all nicely done up in here. And six of you will win one. And I only touch them like this. Never touch the disc. But you will get a little key that you can tighten them in case it shook loose in travel. Just make sure it's tight so you don't get water seeping inside. Never touch by anything but the outside here after it is unplugged. And the only thing I clean it with, and uh, I don't have, I don't have uh, very hard water at all, but I do get a mineral buildup. Is a, you, I use just water pressure and a Q-tip. That's all I use. You could use any little cotton uh, soft rag, but I use a Q-tip, and if your water is a little bit harder. You can put a couple of drops of vinegar, white vinegar, in some water and use that to clean it. So that's what I do. That now, bowls. You can use any bowl for your mister. Um, I've got a variety that I picked up at sales and thrift stores. And uh, once you've picked out your bowl, if you know somebody that can drill one half inch hole, Jack did these with a diamond topped drill bit. <laughs> Sounds expensive. It isn't. It's worth it. He's still using the same one that he's been using all these years, but he does it with a a drill that does not plug into the wall, it's battery operated, and he runs water on it the whole time he's drilling. Because that saves how long that drill bit is going to last. If you find it doesn't last, it's maybe you haven't used enough water. So, um, he hasn't broken one touch of wood. <laughs> so, it's been good with that. And then, once you've got that, now if you know somebody or maybe a glass business near you, hunt around. If you can't drill a hole, see if you can find somebody to drill a half inch hole because this wire, it threads through the hole and this little plug, and I've never had a leak, this little plug uh, stops the water from leaking out. I've never had it drip or leak. I've seen some people put a little bit of silicone around it. If they have trouble, maybe they did the hole too big. I don't know, but a half inch works perfect for us. So, if you can't find someone to do a hole, you want to make your own and you just want a mister, you can just have it hang over the side of the bowl. It goes in the bowl and it hangs over. Now, depending on the height of your bowl, you'll find as you're using these, the best height for your water. You'll find if you fill it too full, 
then you don't get as much mist. And if it runs too low, of course, it'll shut off because it has an automatic shut off. So um, I've made my own, and I had bought these uh, tea lights and just go this anything that will bring them all to the same height. These were some things I got at the thrift store off an old chandelier. And we used black silicone, which they say if you look for um, uh, aquarium silicone, this black one is the best, but it doesn't look the best. But we did hunt around, and we have found a clear one, and we've used it on that. And also, the size of your bowl makes a difference. Now, this is also a dollar a dollar, um, dollar store holder. And you can fill up this hole with beads or whatever you want to bring that disc up higher so that it's not sitting way down inside. And also, if it's a higher bowl, that helps too. So this is what we set our plates on that holds our little plant when we want it to get special care. So those are done. And I'll put this on in a minute. You can also find these. Some people, you'll see them in thrift stores. They were used for incense or uh, something like that. And they sat over a little burner, but they work perfect on the top of your disc holder. And you've glued these on. You've got them all. You can use glass. You can use anything that will stand up in water. So I'll show you the difference. So you don't want to put your plant there. So we'll take him down. And this saucer can be used. This comes with this bowl. It can be used this way, or there you use both my hand, or this way, and then you could put another dish. This kind of lowers the mist. It's still coming out and doing its job. You can use it that way, and then this one you will get also. It lets a little more of a billowing effect because you don't have the bigger saucer. Probably move this a little bit. There we go. So now this is the clear glue we used on this mister. It's all purpose adhesive, 100% silicone, but it's flexible. It won't crack or shrink. It's safe in uh, food containers and dishwashers and microwaves. So it can take the heat because. Uh, the water does heat up from the use, and if your water's warm, you could replace it with some cool water. I always add cool water. I never like empty it, but on cleaning day, make sure you use cool water. So, um, cleaning. Now, because they're glass, sometimes you get a, a mineral buildup on them. Glass, and not the disc. You've removed the disc. You've removed the wire, and now you're going to clean your bowl after you've been using it a long time. You're not getting anything abrasive at all near the disc. It's gone. It's over there. So take the bowl to your sink. And the best thing I find to clear off that heavy white scale that gets on glass is I have some CLR bathroom cleaner. I spray it on. I let it sit for maybe 10 minutes and then I go with a scratchy cloth, one like this or one like this. These are good. I think I got two for three dollars of these ones. These are really good. There's a sponge inside or these. Depending on the scale, if the scale's real bad, then use this type. And it's glass. I haven't noticed any damage from doing this. That has taken it all off. It cleans the glass beautifully. So I just wanted to go through those care tips with you. And what will happen is, um, 
If you want to win this Mr. Bowl or one of the five misters, just leave a comment after this video. That comment will automatically enter you for this contest. Now, um, I don't know where you live, and depending on where you live, the price of mailing these out can just skyrocket. And um, I'm learning a lot, but Canada Post suspended service to 60 uh, countries 2021 amid the coronavirus pandemic. And I'm not going to read all these countries, but it goes on and on. So um, we've decided what we will do is we will take whatever name comes up wins. But if um, you happen to be one of these countries and we cannot mail it to you, um, uh, we're sorry about that. Um, but we'll have, have a, a note sent off in a letter and maybe some kind of little surprise. But because of mailing parcels, if we can't do it, it's beyond our control. Because I know we have people watching all, all over the world. And, and thank you for that. So um, that's out of our control. And uh, it, it's probably not liable to happen, but we're going to try like anything to try and get anything off for anybody that's won. And thank you also for the people, the 18 people that have helped with the mailing uh, fees. And probably we should be good by the time these are all off. So, um, now... This, um, where did I write that down? On Thursday, I believe it's the 19th, I wrote down. Hold on. <laughs> okay, Thursday, the 19th, at 9 o'clock in the morning is the deadline for all entries. This video will be taken down for a short time. What we do is we, um, we uh, highlight and copy on, get printed out, everybody's name that left a comment. Anybody that's done it twice, we make sure there's just one of each of you. Then we have this uh, big thing that cuts strips of paper, and we just cut each one the same size with the name of the winners. And then, our, of all the entries, and then we put them all in a container and we'll draw the winning ones on an, a video to follow after that Thursday. So that is about how that goes. This orchid, so far, no wimpy leaves. This one, one leaf might be sad, but I've had it in its little tomato cage. <laughs> that I built out of an old tomato cage, and I've had it in that, and I've been missing in there probably three, four times a day, keeping the humidity up while it gets used to the bark. And because it's new in bark, even though I soaked it three days, um, for the first, oh, probably two months at least, and especially because of our weather, I will be making sure it gets the one real good water under the shower, but it also, a couple days uh, in the middle of watering day, gets another one. And I may even give it another one. It's used to uh, more humidity, and it will help the roots slowly get used to the bark because the moss has been so wet. That's what those roots are used to. And, of course, they always... No matter how you're changing your media, when you change media, it is a shock. They will go new roots. So that's why I always look for ones with aerial roots or lots of green roots near the surface. The ones near the surface are the ones that are more like aerial roots and more likely to keep your plant. And we never lost 
Annie Blooms. We did it when it was almost in full bloom and there's been, I think, four or five open, couple more to go. So that is good. And I just, before I go, have to show off Alphinia. She is flowering one after the other. She has two new ones. And more coming. This is amazing. It's so pretty. I have to be, tell you, I'm very happy. <laughs> so, and of course the big lip fell. I really wanted her to, to not spike, but she tried once and I cut her off around Christmas. And, and because she was last year's orchid, she just, I wanted her to put more energy into growing, but she wanted this and they're still happy and I've left her with her spike. So we're going to see how that goes. So, um, thanks again, and good luck. Bye for now.